it's important to choose a safe, legal location to install your Little Free Library Book Exchange. There are four qualities of a good library site. One, lots of people should naturally pass by. Good options would be school bus routes, nature trails, bike paths, playgrounds, and other busy areas. Most volunteer stewards put their libraries three to five feet from the sidewalk or nearest path and add stepping stones or a bench nearby. If you live in a snowy climate, consider how snow plows or shoveling snow in the winter might affect your library's location. Two, the library should be easily visible to attract the attention of passers-by. Three, the library should be safely out of the way of the road, sidewalk, or other high traffic areas. Avoid putting your library on the strip of grass between the sidewalk and the road. That's likely public property. Four, be sure to get permission before you install a library on property that you do not own. If you decide to put a library on city property or in a public park, you'll need to contact your local government office to get approval and make sure that you're following local zoning laws. To make things easy, many Little Free Library stewards put their libraries in their own front yards. But you'll still want to be sure that your library is compliant with local zoning laws and any regulations from your HOA or neighborhood association. Once you've chosen your library site, arrange to have a local utilities company come to the site and mark the underground utility lines. In the United States, you can dial 811 and within a few days, a utility company representative will come and mark the ground with paint or flags. This way, you will avoid hitting water, electric, or natural gas lines when you install your library. Now that you've chosen a site and marked the utility lines, here are the materials you're going to need to install your library. A four by four inch wooden post, cut to five feet length with a 15 inch platform on top. In this tutorial, we will use the library post with topper available for purchase in Little Free Library's online store. If you have the skills and equipment, you could also build your own post and platform. When building a post and platform, we like to start with an eight foot, four by four inch cedar post, which we cut down to five feet in length. Then we use the extra wood from the post to make angle braces. You'll need another five inch by 15 inch piece of cedar for the platform, plus eight three inch screws to attach the platform and angle braces to the post. More detailed instructions are available at littlefreelibrary.org. In addition to a post and platform, you'll need six two and a half inch wood screws or lag screws, an automatic drill, a level, and a tape measure. You'll also need a shovel. And if you have a tamping and digging bar, that would be helpful, but it's not required. Okay, now you're ready to install your library. We recommend having at least one other person to help you. Another option to make your library more mobile would be to install it in a large potted planter filled with dirt or concrete instead of putting it directly in the ground. Start by digging a two foot deep hole that's about one foot wide to allow plenty of room for the four inch by four inch wooden post. At this depth, your five foot tall library post will sit about three feet off the ground when you've finished installing it. Either dig your hole deeper or shallower, depending on how high you want your library to sit off the ground. Consider kids and wheelchair accessibility too. Center the library post in the hole and fill half of the hole with dirt. Then use a level to check that the platform on top is even with the ground. Fill in the rest of the hole, tamping the dirt hard with a shovel or a tamping bar as you go. Some stewards choose to pour concrete around the base of the post instead of filling it with dirt for extra security. We've found that this usually isn't necessary and concrete makes it more difficult to move your library in the future if needed. Now that your post is securely in the ground and level, 
Use a measuring tape to center your library on top of the platform. Drill six holes through the base of the library and into the platform beneath it. Use the two and a half inch screws to secure the library to the platform. You're done. It's time to celebrate and start sharing books. Don't forget to take a few photos of your library and add it to the world map at littlefreelibrary.org.